We are in a prime area of Hillsborough, California, but up in the hills, the residential community. The house was built by, by folks. The architect was Bob Blunk, who's quite a famous guy up here in Hillsborough. Uh, and that was done about 30 years ago. And it was done with rather advanced technology and advanced materials. And so that's the reason why it looks so young. So I view the house as a view house and a garden house and an outdoor living space. And outside has a beautiful setting, beautiful gardens, fantastic view, but also is spectacular in terms of a place to live and a place to entertain. And my folks were great entertainers. When you come in the front door of the house, there's some very lovely doors to your left that close off the dining room. And it has fabric walls and a view that looks out on the courtyard of the front. This house has several living rooms this being the largest and most formal of them. And as you can see, it comes right from the entrance. You step right down into this rather beautiful setting with open out to the view and the gardens. In the family room, which is more casual, there's a place eating area, uh, a, a bar, a wet bar, ice maker and all that stuff. And um, also has a, some beautiful teak wood and it again opens out onto the view. The master bedroom, as we mentioned, opens down this hall, clear down at the end of the house, which is a full bedroom suite. It's a rather beautiful area. And then the walls in the bedroom itself are all tapestry, spectacular tapestry. And the draperies all tie in with it. Well, there's a very large office. And then next to that is another room, which uh, could be an artist studio, it could be a gym, it could be, I, I think, even a media room all kinds of options for it. And there's also a small wine cellar down there at that level. Well, there's a separate uh, house really associated with this property. It has its own entrance, and it's a bedroom, a living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen, which could be used as a guest quarters, as a housekeeper's family, or many other purposes. But it's a full, lovely unit with great views. It, the flow of the house works great from the dining room, the living room, the the bar and the den, all of that works great. People come here and have a good time. They have fun. The gardens are really spectacular. And in my mind, it's because of my mother. Uh, my mother was a great gardener. She loved to personally be out here and be involved in every detail. And what you see up here is where we are now is the upper portion. We have a lower portion down below, which is, is landscaped as well, but not formal gardens like this. And it's beautiful. You can go down there and have a picnic, and it's just fantastic to look up as well as out from down below. But the beautiful part about living in this house is the varying vistas. When you look out at this view, it's spectacular. On a clear day, you can see forever, literally. And behind us over here is a fire pit, a conversational fire pit with gas flowing through sand. And one can sit out here and talk, and have a drink or coffee, whatever. This is, makes the whole, this whole area come alive and it, it just breathes a lot of life to it. And when you look out here, you see everything from the San Mateo Bridge, you look through the entire bay, you're looking across the bay, you can see the city beyond, and then the San Mateo headlands off to our left. 